There's gold in This is the last side. So this is the bigger size then? This is the... And this is the last one. Yeah, you see the last one. We're in Central Embassy at the Plenjit BTS station. Okay. Okay, that's everything. Well, greetings from Bangkok. What are we doing today, Tiki? We kind of very busy today. First, we are gonna look at the new condo. Just look at it. And that's and then... by our house, right? <laughs> Someday when I no 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 no. I said that's near our house. Oh yeah, near yeah, just just next to our house. And then we are gonna go shopping. Shopping for what? Shopping for birthday gifts. Ah, whose birthday? Secret. Secret. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at this condo. It's actually right by our house. That one there, a noble. We watched it built from our living room, so we're going to go take a look at it, see what they want for rent and how much they want for a purchase. No, we're not interested in moving yet but probably one more year in our current location and we'll start thinking about something new. This is Noble. They do a lot of units, Dawadika, a lot of units. This is Noble State 39. They do a lot of buildings in Thailand, in Bangkok. I've never been a big fan of their layout. I've seen two or three of them and the layouts are not very interesting. Prices, 5 million to 13 million baht. 5 million baht, approximately 145,000 US right now. Very nice entrance area. Not large, modern. We are going to look at two bed, two bath for rent and for purchase. At least that's the plan. <laughs> that's okay. I'm used to it. This is the last side. So this is the bigger size then? This is the... And this is the size, right? Yeah, this is the last size. What we have here, two bedroom, two bath, 60-ish square meter. That's actually where we live right now. Yeah. All right, let me just video and then we'll take a look at everything. His and hers, though, which is good. Nicely done. Done. Add some cabinets. Oh, this is the room. How much? 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 Oh, this is the room. How much
And that was my mistake. One bedroom, one bath. And probably 30 square meter. I thought there was another bedroom over there, but not. It's really very nice. But it is too small. So a couple interesting things. One, it's a, a nice little unit but that's the operative word it's little and they want about 55,000 baht for that small unit we pay about that for 129 square meter in an older building but it's well 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 kept one of the better buildings i've seen in thailand in terms of upkeep the other interesting thing is and you'll find this a lot and if you're looking you need to be aware they're flagging people in to come and see units, but they really can't show you any units because nobody's here to do so. So I don't know why they're flagging people in. But nice building, great location. It's certainly something for someone to look at if they need that size and want something brand new and modern. We're gonna walk over to Vittorio now. Vittorio is a upscale um i super upscale i forget the correct designation for it but at the top of the food chain in terms of quality and we'll take a look at what they've got right now okay this uh, is vittorio right next to where we live i looked at this when it first opened the, the minimum price was about 33 million baht and it went up to probably 200 million baht or so for the penthouse. This is high-end luxury in Prompong. It will be out of our budget right now, but in the future, if prices go down, it is definitely one of the units or one of the buildings I'd like to live in. The juristic office, doesn't bring people in they have an agent that does so we will come and see these after we get back from our Isan trip at the end of this week so sorry can't bring you along on this one but perhaps in the future we will they're very very nice units we're in central embassy at the Plenjit BTS station And we're going into Hermes, apparently to buy a belt, a gift for a friend's husband. So this video cannot be released until after that gift has been given. Central Embassy is a high-end mall. There are so many of them now all over Bangkok and Thailand. I don't understand, quite honestly, how it survives, but it does. There's almost never anybody here. This is what we're looking at. A Hermes belt. That one in particular. There's a Din Dai Pong here, which is a Hong Kong dumpling place. So we are gonna go eat some lunch and then she has to wait for her friend to call so they can decide on which belt that the friend wants and she's not available at the moment and we're hungry so it's lunchtime. Vicky is a fan of Tory Burch. I actually bought her the Tory Burch purse that she's carrying now. So we'll let her look a little bit. It's Sunday about 1 p.m. And I promise you, if I took you to any other mall in Bangkok, it would be relatively packed, whether it was a high-end mall or an everyday, such as Century World. But here, it ain't packed. Got some nice shop restaurants up here.
but we don't see what we're looking for yet so it must be on the other side hey lady where are you going i'm looking for food why are you hungry pretty much pretty much yeah me too did you eat breakfast um no not really not really just orange and coffee ah that's not enough for you we found it bin kai fung they specialize in soup dumplings hong kong soup dumplings really like them a lot and they make them fresh everything made fresh here quick look at the menu these are the main reason why we're here What are we ordering? Xiao Long Pao for eight pieces. Okay. Steamed pork for okay. Xiao Long Pao. This is our favorite one. All right, let's get it. And what else? Vegetable? Yeah, maybe. Uh, noodles? A noodle, yeah, we always like that. Uh, don't we like this one, the oriental salad and special vinegar? Is it that one? Um, the last time, vegetable, green vegetable. All right, let's take a look. Okay, how do we eat a soup dumpling? Okay, let's do it. So this one we have very be careful because it's just very hot inside because it's like soup inside. So there's actually soup inside, right? Soup inside. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's everything. So you have to bite and taste first, making sure that it's not raw in your mouth. That's how you eat a soup dumpling. This is your turn. My turn? Mm -hmm. right. Apart from the other combi that's still good. Like that? Uh oh. Hey. Uh oh. <laughs> They're good. Lunch was delicious. Let's go to Hermes and get this belt for her friend. This is where we are shopping. I don't necessarily find that very nice. Thank you. Hermes wasn't so happy with me filming in there so I had to stop and we didn't get what we're looking for yet because can't decide on colors of the belt so we're gonna go get a coffee at True we always find time for coffee <laughs> you know, she's talking to her friend about the about the belt and I'm gonna drink my caramel macchiato. Hermes mission accomplished. But it's not ours, so. <laughs> However, they got exactly what they were looking for. The store was very nice. And somebody just spent 345,000 baht on something that was in a bag the same size. No idea what it was, but Roughly speaking, that's right around 10,000 US dollars.
<laughs> so I guess they do make sales in this mall. <laughs> You're showing off, but it's not ours. It's not me. It's not ours, so. It's not me. All right. It's not mine. Let's go do some food shopping. Heading to Macro, do a little shopping. And uh, this is Sukhumvit, the main street in Bangkok. And we live off of Sukhumvit. This is Soy 18, we live on 39. And we're going to Soy 20. Vance lives up in that building. City smart. I used to live right over here, right next to the Carlton Hotel. That Carlton, by the way, was a ghost building when I moved here. It was just a shell and it had been empty for uh, somewhere around 10 years and they built a really nice hotel from it. They had a, quite a number of ghost buildings in Thailand and there's still a famous one at the Saton Pier that you can Google ghost buildings Bangkok and it'll come up. It's got to be 20 years old now that it's been unfinished and they call them a ghost building. Anyway, this is a new shop. Lots of shops, of course, went out of business during COVID and many new shops came into its place. Up here you have breakfast story. If you come to visit and want an American style breakfast, this is the place to go. This is their third location. The first one is on Soy 31, a short ways away, but it's a lot smaller. That one's a good place to go there occasionally. And uh, like I said, if you want a good American breakfast, when you come here, we'll go to Breakfast Story. This is something we see everywhere now. We dispensaries are taking over the city. There are many more of them than there are 7-Elevens. And 7-Eleven used to be the thing that was everywhere. It still is, but pot weed dispensaries are everywhere now. Jazz apples are kind of like... We love jazz apples. We love jazz apples. I'm yeah. trying to remember what the name is of the apple that I like. So they have a nice chicken and pork bacon here somewhere. Let's see if they have it. don't see what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Got yogurt? You are. I have mine. Okay. I also want to see if they have regatta cheese. I don't think this location does, but some of the larger locations do because I am going to make a baked ziti for Easter and invite my friends over. Okay, on the lookout for ketchup. I was hoping to find low sugar, but that's not gonna happen. So 133 baht for 20 ounce. That's about four US dollar. These are very good for golfing. I think I'll take this one. It's a nice snack. You can get your Kellogg's and Nestle cereal. All kinds of frozen. And bear in mind, this is a small sized metro, uh, macro. Tuna, cat food, blueberries strawberries, etc. The Arrow brand is Macro's brand. Notice here, as in Europe, eggs are left out. They're not 
refrigerated and no one seems to get sick from that. So I guess maybe the U.S. is either overly cautious or doing something funny with the eggs, creating the need for refrigeration. Coffee, uh, let's see if they have the coffee that we buy. No, Villa Market or uh, Lotus actually. All right, I think we'll wrap the video up. Thanks for watching. Please, if you'd like, if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think. And we will see you again if you're watching this in the morning or in the evening. Have a great day and please stay well. I forgot to say goodbye to Tiki. So sad. So sad. Yeah. Say goodbye. Bye bye. See you next time. Ask him to like, subscribe, and comment. Please like and share and subscribe. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.